Here's how I make an American diner style English breakfast hash. Delicious, easy, plant-based meal prep with one pan. It's been super nice out here in England. In my little cubby corner in North London, thought I'd pop out into the garden, grab a few extras just to add to this recipe that's already minimal ingredients. This episode is brought to you by Wicked Kitchen Birthday Cake Ice Cream. Now available in the U.S. in thousands of Kroger stores. It tastes just like birthday cake with cake balls and rainbow sprinkles throughout. Indulgent, super creamy, and easily my new favorite. Here's one of those dishes where I want to cook in the morning because it's going to be hot out in the afternoon, so I don't want to have to cook them. So I'll make enough for a few meals. So meal prep in one pan. Easy. And I don't have a lot of ingredients. I'm using a few potatoes, a couple small blocks of tofu, a few tomatoes, tomatoes, some mushrooms, and a couple shallots. I didn't have any onion. I'm definitely taking inspiration from when I used to be a breakfast line cook, work on a griddle a lot, but also me being in England now, having that English food influence. English breakfast is a big thing here, so I'm just going to combine them both and make it plant-based. I'm going to be using one smoked tofu and one regular tofu. The brand here in the UK is called Tofu, with two O's at the end, and they have this extra firm tofu, which works great for that. Just look for the tofu that's super extra firm in the vac pack, not in the tray, so it's not stored in water. That just kind of signifies to me that it's super extra firm. Some key things for this recipe that I'm thinking about is cook times. I'm going to do this all in one pan, and potatoes will cook longer than the tofu. Mushrooms can also take a beating, so I want these mushrooms to be super juicy and have some texture to them. Every English breakfast I've had, they always serve it with a dried mushroom like they didn't care. It was like leftover. They just thought to throw it on the plate. Here, I want them to be the star. So we're going to press them, and that really does help with the texture. And then I just leave them in the pan to the side to cook, just like I would do on a griddle top. So first off, I'm starting off with the potatoes. I add a couple drops of water here and there, a little bit of plant-based butter. We'll add the shallots because I want those shallots to caramelize and have that nice flavor to go throughout. Five, six, seven, eight minutes to cook the potatoes on a medium-high heat because you don't want to burn them. Stir in them occasionally. Taste them once they have that al dente bite. Move them over to the side. Add another pat of butter, and then I'm adding the tofu. And I mix the two tofus, as I mentioned, one smoked, one regular, just for that extra added bit of flavor. And instead of having beans on a traditional English breakfast, I'm just using the tofu so they're made for soybeans. The only seasoning I'm adding here is a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Keeping it super simple with the fresh chives from the garden, a little bit of the kale for some color. And my extra special thing was just using, I had some jalapenos open in the fridge. So I'm using a little bit of that liquid to help steam saute, and also some of the jalapenos because I like that tangy, spicy flavor. You don't have to add that if you don't want. But this dish is super easy, really high in protein, and I got three and a half meals out of this, considering how much I tried at the end of this video, had a meal, and then also packaged up two for later so I didn't have to cook when it was hot out. This was perfect. As usual, I'll list the full set of ingredients in the description, and then pretty soon we'll link it to the website with the full recipe. But you can watch the whole method right here. I just hand shred the kale from the garden right in at the end, just stirring it around, make sure that's nice and poppin' vibrant green color and cooked. Taste it. I like to arrange everything before I serve it, or even before I eat it, so it's not just for the camera, but I'll do this anytime. I just set aside the mushrooms on the side because they are the star of the show. You got the tofu and potato hash. It's garnished with this fresh chive. And that is it. I had the big cast iron here. I believe this is the 12 inch one. It's definitely a workout holding these bad boys. It's a good replacement for the gym. <laughs> so I tell myself. Anyways, this is delicious. And like I said, it gave me a few different meals. And I knew I was getting a ton of protein. Not that I ever worry about it, but there are people out there that do. Super good, guys. I hope you try it. Let me know what you think. So good. And we'll talk to you soon. We'll see you soon. Have a great weekend.